King Cobra is one of the most famous snakes on the planet. Everyone probably knows about it. But is everyone aware of the fact that King Cobras love to eat snakes? And what about its other preys and the power of its venom? You'll find out about it in this episode. Today, I'll show you how the King Cobra swallows snakes, show its fights with different animals, and share some interesting facts about it. Let's go! Let's start with what the King Cobra is. It belongs to the Elapids family, which has a variety of venomous snakes, including the legendary Black Mamba. The King Cobra is often called the most venomous in the world, but it's not. However, it's the largest venomous snake on the planet. Some individuals grow to almost 20 feet in length. For comparison, the Black Mamba usually doesn't exceed 10 feet in length. The essence of the King Cobra is in its name, and in Latin, it's Ophiophagus hanna. It's translated as snake eater, and this reflects reality. In nature, the King Cobra mainly feeds on snakes, including highly venomous ones. See for yourself. The King Cobra is so powerful that it can swallow a snake whole. It's reportedly proved this in practice. King Cobra does this with ease. However, given the structure of the snake, it's easier for it to swallow its own kind than to swallow some other animal. King Cobra also hunts its relatives, other cobras. The principle is the same. The King Cobra tries to capture and bite the enemy and then swallows it all. It can even deal with a long and thick python. However, this is a more complicated task. The King Cobra also dislikes other reptiles. For example, lizards. If there's no snake to bite nearby, the King Cobra may pounce on a monitor lizard or its eggs. In this case, it usually chases away the adult, intimidating it, and then eats the eggs and baby. But the adults can get it as well. King Cobra is capable of attacking a small monitor lizard, finish it off, and swallow it. Sometimes it swallows monitor lizards which are still alive. What's more, the King Cobra can fearlessly engage in a fight even with the Komodo Dragon, the largest lizard on the planet, which grows to more than 13 feet in length and weighs over 287 pounds. However, it usually ends with a brawl. The Komodo Dragon is too huge for the King Cobra and not particularly suitable as a snack. At the same time, Komodo Dragon themselves sometimes take revenge on King Cobras and eat them. They regularly have conflicts. The King Cobra lives in Southeast Asia, and in addition to monitor lizards and many snakes, there are other creatures that live there. If you thought of tigers, you were right. Tigers are incredibly dangerous cats as well as the largest member of the feline family. Height's about 3.2 feet, length of more than 8.2 feet, weight of over 550 pounds, very sharp fangs and claws, and developed predatory instincts. Few animals will want to compete with such a monster, but not the King Cobra. This snake can engage in a fight with a tiger and defend itself against its attacks. At times, even several tigers at once are unable to defeat a King Cobra. Moreover, a King Cobra can even defeat a striped cat. Thus, in one of India's zoos, several years ago, a large King Cobra bit a white tiger, after which the latter died. I can't believe how powerful the venom of the King Cobra is, that it can finish off even a tiger. But of course, this venom is much more dangerous to humans. Only 7 milliliters of venom is enough to cause human death in 15 minutes after the first full bite. At the same time, taking into account all the peculiarities of the behavior of the King Cobra, in general, only 10% of bites are fatal for humans. King Cobra is certainly dangerous to humans, but it's not all that creepy. In fact, the snake is very patient. It's not for nothing that snake charmers work with it most often. Feeling no threat to itself, the King Cobra will not attack a person. If a person is at a close distance from the King Cobra, they should stand or sit at the level of its eyes. Do not make any sudden movements. Breathe evenly and look at it calmly. After a few minutes, the cobra will consider the person as harmless object and slip away. Well, if a King Cobra feels threatened, it first spreads its signature hood, and if it does not scare off the offender, it makes a rush and bite, which may be fatal. After all, its venom is very powerful. But there are snakes in the world with more powerful venom, much more powerful. Keep watching to see the most venomous snake on Earth, as well as the largest, smallest, brightest, and other unusual snakes that'll surprise you. Inland Taipan – and here's the toxic leader. The Inland Taipan is not as famous as the King Cobra, but it's much more venomous. Scientists believe that the Inland Taipan venom is about 180 times more powerful than that of the King Cobra. So far, this is just the usual comparison, which is shocking but says little. To better understand the power of this snake, here's a frightening fact. One dose of its venom is enough to kill 100 adults. 
The world's most venomous snake lives in Australia. Once again, Australians have no luck with fauna because they already have plenty of monsters in the country. But the inland taipan is not as dangerous as, for example, many Australian spiders, crocodiles, or sharks simply because humans hardly come into contact with it. This reptile lives in sparsely populated or not populated areas, hides in cracks and fissures in the soil, and never attacks first. So you have to try very hard to be bitten by an inland taipan. Anaconda Well, everyone knows this snake. It's no less famous than the king cobra. If the king cobra is the longest venomous snake on the planet, then the anaconda is the largest snake in the world. It reaches 16 feet in length, although there's a lot of information about anacondas longer than 20 to 33 feet. And some of this information is true. Often people don't have time to measure unofficial record holders to make them official. But the main feature of anacondas is not their length, but their weight. These boa constrictors are unrealistically heavy and fat. They can easily weigh up to 150 pounds, and some exceed 220 pounds. Summarize the length and weight and you'll get a very dangerous creature that can devour a chicken as a light snack in no time, or twist a large caiman into a pretzel. Not every snake is able to deal with a crocodile like that. In terms of size, the anaconda has one worthy competitor, the reticulated python. It may be lighter than the anaconda, but it's definitely longer, at least officially. These non-venomous snakes often grow to 23 feet in length, 6.5 feet longer than the anaconda. There are reports of larger individuals that have grown up to 33 feet or more. Perhaps there really were a couple of such reticulated pythons. Also among the reticulated pythons that you can find officially the largest snake in the world at the moment. This is a female reticulated python named Medusa, who's kept in Kansas in an amusement park. It's 25 feet long and weighs about 350 pounds. It takes more than a dozen people to lift and hold Medusa. Together with the amusement park employees, Medusa often performs at various shows, and such performances attract especially many spectators. Barbados Thread Snake And here's the exact opposite of Medusa. It's hard to even realize it's a snake. It looks more like a worm, doesn't it? That's because the Barbados Thread Snake is the smallest snake in the world. It does not exceed even four inches in length, so it can easily fit on a coin or a human finger. Of course, such a tiny snake is not dangerous to humans. It's a person who can accidentally crush the little thing. The Barbados Thread Snake feeds on termites and ant larvae and doesn't harm anyone else. By the way, unlike many other snakes, this baby snake lays only one egg, but a relatively large one. The snakelet has a length of about two inches, that is, it's about half the size of the mother. That's unusual. But what's even more unusual is this snake. Meet the tentacle snake, or erpetin. It's been called the strangest snake on the planet. It's because of those horns on its head. In fact, they're tentacle-like outgrowths covered in fine scales, hence the name of the species. These things aren't just for beauty, they're some kind of sensors with the help of which the snake gathers information about its environment. With their help, the reptile hunts on fish, which it captures with lightning speed. Thanks to such sensors, reaction and speed, about 8 out of 10 hunting attempts end successfully. By the way, once again we come back to the toxics because this snake is venomous. However, its venom is not as terrible as that of the inland taipan or the king cobra. It's enough only to neutralize fishes, and it's not dangerous for humans. Next comes one of the most unique snakes on the planet. What is the uniqueness? Maybe an unusual color? Or an incredible venom? Neither. These snakes can fly. That's what they're called, flying snakes. They love to climb trees and, even more, love to fly from tree to tree to change the situation or find some prey. A bird, a rodent, or a frog. The snake hangs from a tree, curled up, pushes off, flies, and wriggles in flight. As it flies, the snake's round body becomes flat. The reptile spreads its ribs and retracts its abdomen, creating a concave surface underneath. It becomes streamlined and can fly up to 33 feet. It's a hefty distance. If you're in South and Southeast Asia, keep your eyes on the trees so you don't miss this reptile's incredible flight. Black Python and finally, the snake that many call the most beautiful and brightest in the whole world. Moreover, the snake is also very rare. The black python lives in New Guinea. The coloring of this reptile is striking. The babies are born bright orange, but as they grow older, they begin to darken. As a result, the adult's coloration becomes as dark as tar, and it contrasts with the yellow stripes. But the trick is that the snake can visually change its coloration. 
under the sunlight, the black python is capable of shimmering in almost any color, from yellow and green to purple. And such a bright palette is impressive. That's all, guys. Which snake did you like the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.